Hey throwers, coach here. We're going to look at uh, David Stroll uh, through this weekend. So we'll just l look at it at normal speed and then kind of back it up and have a look at some of the good things that he's doing. It's early in the season. It's all June the 25th or so. And so we're going to have a look at how he's progressing here. So let's have a look at his throw and then we'll back it up. This is his first throw, uh, 2086. This is his second throw. Slides and pushes just over 21 meters there. Nice little footwork angles here. It's going to be fun to kind of look at this. I always like a slightly different perspective, and this is going to offer a, a bit of a more insight and multiple angles here, which is going to make it even more interesting to follow. So let's have a, yeah, let's back that up a bit now, and let's have a look at David's throw. Just going to speed it back here a little bit here for the... There we go. Okay, so I'm going to stop it a couple times during the um, progression here of the video you just saw. So here we go. Let's let's run it. We're going to stop it on a few things. So as we come through here, you can see here he's coiled in the back. Now, Dave's been at kind of a little bit of a ride. He's a glider, so he's a very consistent thrower. He's been a really consistent with regard to his throws. His best is just over 22 meters. He's in the 22 and a half range, you know, it, uh, it's so he's uh, a very consistent thrower. But we can have a look at a couple things that he does uh, exceptionally well. And, uh, and if you've followed in previous videos, you'll know. Dave's got a very much uh, arc back way. Um, many of the uh, profile you know to be back to the sky and uh, he's very athletic and he's able to get into positions that a lot of people just cannot um, so you can see here he's in a very good uh, position here uh, his shoulders are square to the back of the circle so pointing to the back of the circle here we don't want any premature opening of the shoulders as he moves across the circle into the power position so let's let's kind of move it ahead here a little bit and we get a little bit of a, a side profile here and we're just going to look at his kind of glide as he moves across the circle here so he's coming across here and we're just going to stop it in a couple places here's a really good angle here as far as many of the young throws you can see here Dave pushes off and he pushes off with his heel uh, some throwers push off with their toes uh, he chooses to push off with heels uh, simultaneously though you'll notice that he has a really good straight drive across the circle so he's essentially doing two different things he's pushing off with his back right leg he's driving with his left leg to the front of the circle but you'll notice something else that he's doing really well is that he's already initiated and he's keeping square here he's trying to keep his upper body square and he's gonna let this right side come through first uh, before he uh, initiates any part of the throw at this point um, the hope is is he's going to try to get that foot down somewhere in here and this is the biggest thing in shot moving that you know for the right-handed thrower moving that right foot to the center of the circle in a position where he can um, have most of his weight over that right leg so we're just going to move it a little bit further ahead and you can see here if I was his coach, there's just a cup, really one thing um, that, you know, uh, Dave's uh, struggling with a little bit. And you'll see that his back toe is pointing this way. Um, and if anybody's been following some of the videos that I've been uh, advocating is that, you know, he'd be in much, much better position to have be on the ball of his foot and his toe pointing towards this side of the circle. In this case, it would be the left side of the circle towards the pylon. And the question is, is why? Well, if, you, if you're flat-footed as he's in this position, what happens is there's not a lot of power there. And what, what I would advocate is if he was on the ball of his foot, pointed this way, he can now then initiate all the lower body movement. You know, he'll be able to turn on his toe, turn that knee, turn the hip. And he's so good up top. Look, you can't see his face. He's blocked off and he's able to initiate. So one of the big key things is 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 that in his throw. If I was working on anything with Dave, we, that it would be that piece. And as we slide to the front, he's so athletic and powerful, he's able to you know manipulate it. But look at this. Any uh, person looking in, hope Dave's looking in, you can see how is that there. That's really a tough power position to be in 
if you're in this position here and you're pointed there, if you can get just that toe pointed in this direction on the ball of his foot, he'll be able to initiate the throw because his, as you can see here, many coaches I think would agree with me. Now he's starting to open, right? Well, look where his back toe is, right? So he, his, that's not a really strong position there. But imagine for a moment that he's on the ball of his foot right here and he's ready to initiate and already making his bottom turn. So that would be a big uh, a big point for anybody that's thinking about the shot puts and specifically the glide. And as and he is so athletic, dynamic, and quick, he's able to switch off fairly consistently. Now, wouldn't it be really awesome if he was in this position maybe three or four frames ago, right in this spot here, um, and uh, as he releases? So we're just going to let that go for a moment, and you can see it's a great result. And that's a personal best for him this season. But this, this is even a better shot here. Let's have a look at the same type of talk that we've been giving you already. Beautiful glide across the circle here. Just look at that. Look at that nice leg drive here. You have to be doing really two things, right? You have to be pushing out of the back and you have to be, and you can see the distance between his two feet. Quite, uh, quite a, um, accomplishment for such a big lad. And so what's going to happen here is you can imagine what type of athleticism you need to come off your heel, drop your foot into here, hopefully on the ball of your foot, pointing this way ever so slightly, even take this right as far as a direction. But once he does that, um, you can see here that uh, it causes him a little bit of difficulties. Now you'll see he's trying to get it up there, he's trying to get that foot into a, a nice position. And you can see here, that's really not a very good power position. Um, and if he was on the ball of his foot, and again, point it this way, on the ball, he can now turn all of this in the direction of the throw. And he, he'll lace it. He'll get his 22 meters easy, I think. Um, and you'll notice that uh, just one other thing before we, we let you go is a lot of people will you know, say, Coach, what about you know landing two feet? He's doing it the right way. He's making contact with his right leg for this right-handed thrower. You can see that his front foot is slightly off the ground. This gives a really quick weight transfer from um, his back right leg to the left leg. And so he really is a leg, can block very effectively with this left foot as he makes contact. Okay, so let's just let it run. And away he goes, switches off. I mentioned switching off there in previous videos, but a nice result for David. Congratulations, David Stroll, Germany with a nice throw here this early in the season here, just in late June, and the World Championships just around the corner. Good luck, Dave, and correct that big guy.